comments in a C code or in C program. We basically use two types of comments in a C code. This one, the forward double slash, two slashes together is an example of a single line comment. That means anything written on this particular line is going to be not considered to be a part of your code. The preprocessor software deletes this particular piece of code because only in the source program your comments exist. There is no point in trying to send the code or the comments to the compiler because the comments cannot be converted into any instructions and they are basically for our understanding of the program. Forward slash star, star forward slash, anything in between these two is an example of a multi-line comment. So the minute this forward slash star starts, anything you type after it, till it encounters a start forward slash is an example of a comment. Although this says it's a hello world example, I am simply printing the message welcome to see programming. So this is a simple program where I am just trying to print a message welcome to see programming and trying to give you an idea about how comments can be used and what is the purpose of comments in a C piece of code. So in order to understand the role of comments, let's try to take a look into the number of points that comments or what are the role comments play in your code. The first thing is you can place comments anywhere in your C code. For example, after this stdio.h, you could plus double slash and write C hello world example. Or you could put the multi-line comment starting here and ending here. So comments can be placed basically anywhere in your code. Now, the first question is why do you require comments? Comments are required to ensure clarity and to give you an idea about the code when you come back to the code, maybe say after six months, one year or two year. And secondly, in an industry, a lot of your code is going to be maintained by someone else so that someone else needs to understand your code quickly. Say for example, you got a 10,000 line code without any comments. Probably it's going to take three or four days to understand that particular code by a person who is new to that particular code. But in case you have made an effort to write comments systematically, maybe in a day he'll understand the entire code as to what it's trying to do. Important aspect of comments. Comment is only a part of the source code. That means it is only in the .c file. When the .exe or a.out is created, comments have no role because the preprocessor software eats up or clears up all the comments. Now, we cannot nest comments. What do we mean by this? Suppose I have got a comment like this. Okay, this is a multi-line comment. I have some statement, I have some statement and these are example of four statements. Now within this, I cannot write something like this. I cannot put another comment. So you cannot have a comment within a comment. That means you cannot nest multi-line comment. Nesting means a comment within a comment is not permitted by C. Another important thing, beginners tend to take comment to a whole new level. They try to comment on things which are very meaningless. For example, at the this printf, you may end up writing at the top, you may write a comment. This is printing the message, welcome to C programming. Not required because looking at this particular thing, it is clear that it is trying to print the welcome to C programming message. So please avoid trivial comments. Like suppose you declare a variable i, don't say I'm declaring an integer variable i. That's not a meaningful comment because that's easily understandable by looking at the particular piece of code. Now, the way comments are written, the standard way of writing comments is you basically use a logic in pseudocode or you explain the logic you are working on using the pseudocode language. What do I mean by that? Say for example, you have a huge project. You, you require a number of sub problems or the project is broken down into a number of sub programs or sub problems. The solution of the sub problem contributes to the solution of the entire problem. So each of the sub problem or sub program is known as a function in C. Each function does only one task. For example, 
the function square root will only find the square root of a number the function power will only find x raised to y and the function say length may only find the length of characters in a word so function does only one thing so when you write the logic just above the function you can briefly summarize the logic how you are calculating the length how you are finding the square root using pseudocode language in a later session i will publish a separate playlist just trying to give you a brief idea how to write pseudocode one thing you need to understand a lot of you think okay i'm going to come back do the coding and comment it's never going to happen in your life i worked for 12 years in the industry not one day it's possible that you will code and come back as you are coding please make an effort to write systematic comments if your program is giving meaningful variable names is properly indented you will require minimum number of comments if your program is written badly then you will require more comments that's the moral of the story so turn or make an effort to write clean code when you write clean code the amount of comments required is lesser now comments are a huge boon during maintenance because the code you develop somebody may want to modify it 10 15 years down the line he may find a bug he may want to correct it if there are no comments it's a real nightmare to find out what is the problem in that particular piece of code one of the standard ways in industries what they do is they maintain something called as a change history in the change history what it is it the first column is the date the next is the author who made changes to the code and the next is description of that particular change so using this particular row and column what you can do is suppose you can say today is 12th of november okay just giving you an example author is x y z he does certain changes to the code so this particular detail is written later on say two years down the line somebody makes a change to this code he writes the date author and description this way the advantages are twofold if later on you go to maintain that code you can easily contact the author if he is working in the company to see or understand what changes he has he has made if you are not able to understand the change number 2 it's a good practice to know what all changes are made to the original code so this is known as the change history so it is maintained at the very top of the program here what you see this multi line command in place of this you will generally have the change history of the code now lot of times when you are testing so suppose you have written a program which is about say line 1 to 10 and from line uh, 100 to line say 500 okay you are sure that the error is between line 1 to 10 okay so what you can do is after the line 10 you can comment out the code you can only compile and try to execute between line 1 to 10 code so this way you are not trying to look at the logic of the remaining 490 lines which do not contribute to your problem so you can comment out code where you feel there is no problem and you can keep the code open where you feel there is a possible problem so this is a way you can use comments smartly for debugging or removing errors in your code so here another example could be is suppose you want to test out two three variations of the code so you can comment out two variations try out the third variation then comment out the other two try out the first variation so this way you can play around by commenting pieces of code which you do not require and test out your logic so comments are really really useful in development of a program as well as its maintenance i hope this gave you a brief idea about the importance of comments and how do we use different type of comments in a c language